Hello guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of something different. Uh, firstly, I'm using XSplit today. Um, sorry for the watermark, I don't have the full version, uh, but I'm actually on my laptop. Uh, my PC sold, so I've basically wiped that, so I've got nothing on there. Uh, today I'm not going to be doing a tutorial, uh, as the title of the video will hopefully suggest. Um, I've been set a challenge, or rather I've set myself a challenge along with a friend of mine, uh, and we are both making a game. Um, within a week, so from Friday the 11th until Friday the 18th of July we've both got a week to make a game. The difference is I'm using Unreal Engine 4 and he's using Unity. Um, so we are uh, basically it's a bit of fun first of all and we're just seeing who can make the better game in the time frame. So if it would hurry up and open up I can show you basically what I've done on day one, what I've managed to get get working with on day one. Um, now my timeline is looking a bit different to his. He's opted to create uh, things like the... Um, he's creating ammo types and guns and things on his day one. I've decided to start creating the terrain and the world that I want to play in. Now to make this fair, we've both been set the same genre. We have to make a survival game, so the kind of thing where you have to eat, drink, uh, you can't sprint for too long, yada yada yada, you get the idea. That kind of game. Uh, and the setting, well, it was up to us. We could have done post-apocalyptic, we could do space, you know, we basically got to decide the setting. Uh, and the story behind my game is the small town, uh, Spring Creek, I think it's called Spring Creek, I don't know, I've basically forgotten that already. Uh, there's a small town and everybody's disappeared. And you've been sent in and you've got to figure out where the hell everybody's gone and why. So there's going to be things around the map, like pieces of paper, it's a bit like Slender, where you've got to go around and you've got to find these clues as to why things disappeared. You know, maybe old lady Smith's uh, chair is knocked over. Ooh, that's weird. You know, some kind of investigation thing. But at the same time, you've got the survival element. So, I think I might have like, like a, a, a scare meter. So, if your character's getting too worked up or built up, then he's going to get stressed out and he's going he's gonna to become fatigued or something. You can't sprint, you can't run away and maybe there's something in the town. Chain. I don't know yet. Basically, all I've got right now is I'm building a landscape while I think of the story. So I'm going to add ho houses over here. I'm going to add houses over there. This is going to become mostly forest. Uh, in Google SketchUp I decided to have a quick go at making a very small police station. I do yet need to add a spiral staircase inside. Uh, it's too dark in there. I need to add a spiral staircase in here so that you can ascend and descend those levels and get rid of those bits of shrubs there poke it through the ground and I need to add a wrecked police car or two out in the yard maybe a fully functioning one, I'm not sure uh, I would like to add vehicles but you know I've only got a week so at the minute it's not a triple A title it's uh, let's get something to present at the end of the week so anyway a little bit more information about the um, thing while I prepare to show you what I've got here, this challenge basically we've got a week to make a game as I've said he's using Unity as I've said I'm just repeating myself now um, and at the end of the week basically we're going to swap games I'll play his, he'll play mine and we've got a panel of friends who are going to play both games as well and they will rate both games uh, and the winner wins absolutely nothing it's just some friendly challenge um, I would like to add at this point if you're interested in joining us you're more than welcome to do so uh, so you've got a week from basically the time you see this or if it's if you hopefully if you see this now you can join us and you, I can feature you in a video or something but at the 18th of July I'll play the games that you guys have made if you've managed to make one by then or a demo or you know you get the idea and uh, we'll see who can what you can come up with in a week in Unreal Engine or Unity your choice so let's just quickly demonstrate what I've made today uh, so I've started making the landscape use the default skybox and sun position and some sun or whatever uh, I've made one of those, um, I don't know what you call them, like crossings for animals and stuff so that animals can cross the road safely. So I've kind of just had a quick mess around making one of those. I've got this bit here which would be the exit to out of town, but oh, so conveniently the uh, boulders have caved in, it's collapsed. And this over here, now this is quite interesting. And actually if I just hit play, hopefully we don't get the menu pop up. We do get the menu pop up, so I'll quickly show you through the menu. I'm going to be using uh, a save system so that you can hop back in and hopefully, st hopefully, if I can get it working, you'll be where you were when you left off. Um, so yeah, new game, load game, quit. Basically these do the same thing at the minute. But I'm just going to stop right there, open the level blueprint. I'm actually going to disable that menu popping up for now, and um, we'll come back to that later. So what I wanted to show you was this. Now, this is a landscape, uh, and landscapes 
are triangles that are woven together but what I've managed to do is make a hole in the landscape so you can kind of see a bit of it hole up there if you look where my thumb is you can kind of see through the rock just there so I need to patch that bit up but using the free assets provided by Unreal I've managed to make this kind of cave using the free assets and then I made the torch models myself uh, again in SketchUp so using those cliffs um, in the Unreal uh, open world collection the kite demo I managed to just basically repeat them and create this well I think it looks pretty darn cool I mean for a day's work when the light hits it right just like now I think it lights up pretty well um, I've got these torches jutting out from the walls dotted out along the way down here uh, I could do with fixing these kind of things but yeah you, you get the idea so there's a cave through here and this cave leads through I'm gonna try and hide the entrance over there I want this to be kind of a wow look what I've discovered kind of moment and you head out here and there's this big lake and I'm not going to ruin it for you, but I'm going to put something pretty cool on the lake. Um, if you can guess it in the comments below, I will not tell you whether you're right or wrong. Because um, I do want it to be a surprise. And then I'm going to try and add another tunnel in over here that leads on through to this section. I'm not sure what I'm going to add in here yet, but basically the idea is that I've got these little tunnels that lead through to different parts of the map. Um, so well, yeah, that's what I've got for today, basically. I made a model, started making my terrain, made some tunnels, uh, attempted to start making some buildings, start populating the map with something other than just foliage. Um, I'll probably go to bed at about 2 or 3 this morning um, and so before then I hope to get a couple more buildings in or whatever so yeah that's all I've got for you today guys so I won't be having any more Unreal Engine 4 tutorials out over the week um, it will basically just be updates on how this game is going. Now I will be doing some stuff in this game that I've not made a tutorial on such as the menu system uh, and what I'd like to do is if you guys find that you like the look of something, leave a comment in the video and at the end of the week hopefully I'll come back to the comments and show you how I created those kind of things so you can put those in your game. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope to see you in the next video and uh, I hope to have a great game to present to you at the end of the week. Thanks guys. Now how to turn this stupid thing off. There we go. See ya.